All right, real quick, before you guys watch that video, man, I gotta tell you, there was a series of events that took place that I gotta fill you guys in on. So first of all, we just went and fished Pensacola Beach with my buddy Scott from Gulf Coasting. The first thing that took place was we got there, beautiful morning, the weather's perfect, the seas are perfect, everything's perfect. So we push off of the beach, start paddling out, and Scott realizes that he has the wrong pedal drive for his kayak. So he had to go back in and drive all the way back home and go get his pedal drive for his. He ended up grabbing his fiance's, which was also for an old town, but it didn't fit on his kayak. So that happened, and then we get out there, we get on the reef, and lo and behold, I ended up doing the inevitable, which happens to most kayak anglers who are also YouTubers. I dropped my GoPro in the water. I dropped my GoPro. I dropped my GoPro in the water. And I watched it sink to the bottom, 60 foot of water. All in the midst of me hooking into two fish at one time. I had some amazing footage for you guys. I ended up catching a nice, nice red snapper, but uh, I don't have that footage for you guys. It was an 18 inch red snapper. I did end up catching a second um, red snapper, but we did get some good footage and we did have an eventful day. But other than that, you guys go watch the video. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna have to get a new GoPro before we go down to the Florida Keys, which is happening next weekend. And you guys need to stay tuned for that. But yeah, go ahead and watch the video. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and I'm out. What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and today we're out at Pensacola Beach. I got my boy Scott behind me. We're gonna go out and see if we can't catch some king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, maybe even a tarpon. And we're gonna go fish the artificial reefs. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna get out there and go get them. First of all, I wanna give a shout out to my boy Donnie. He recognized me inside the bait and tackle shop this morning. He was getting some bait. I had to get some bait and some ice. Donnie, thanks for subscribing, man. Makes me feel real good when I see people and they're just like, vitamin D. I'm like, yo. Anyways, we're gonna get out there, see if we can't put you guys on some fish. We're gonna get you guys some good content. Let's go. All right, guys, we are out here in the Gulf. I just lost uh, another fish. We are fishing the reefs off of Pensacola Beach. And uh, unfortunately, I just lost my GoPro, which was something that was bound to happen, but it just actually happened. Um, I had my GoPro on my hat and I fished like that many, many times before. I had a rod, this rod right here, off the back with a dead bait on it. And he was dropped down to the bottom. We're fishing in 62 foot of water and that, that rod got hit. So I turned my head really fast and my GoPro went flying off my hat. So we'll be recording on this for now until I go get a new GoPro. And uh, I got Scott out here with me. We've been fishing for quite some time. I got a lot of live bait. I actually caught a 18 inch red snapper already. And um, what else? I caught a lot of bait. I just lost a lot of good footage for you guys. But we're gonna see if we can't turn this day around. The next time I tune in, it'll probably be with a fish in my hand and I'm gonna try and take some pictures and do what I can with my cell phone. So either way, we're not gonna let it get us down. That was a lot of money. It was a, he a GoPro Hero 7 Black um, and a Dango Gripper, which is about $50 on top of that. So that was about $450 into the Gulf of Mexico. So what are you gonna do? Hey, us YouTubers, we lose equipment all the time. I have my intro recorded on my camera in the truck, so we'll have that, which is good. But um, yeah, we won't be able to film anything while we're fishing, but I will turn on the camera and show you guys my catches. So y'all stay tuned. We're still gonna have a good day out here.
Appreciate it. Let's go. Oh, Scott just lost right, a fish. What size leader do you got? It's like a foot, 12 inch. 30? 12 inches. No, wait, wait, th wait. 30 pound. Let me get some of that. All right. I'm using 20 and they're just. Yeah, it's hard to weed through those red snapper. Yeah. Scott just lost some fish, guys. I'm going to get on a spot and uh, we're going to drop down. This boat's holding right over the, uh, the reef and there's fish all up under them. I'm just starting to mark fish here. Sorry, my screen's got a little salt water on it, but you can see there's fish on there. The closer we get to that boat, the more fish that it shows. So we're letting our baits drift back from this way because the current's moving east, northeast. And uh, Scott Spector, Matt, and uh, we just cast our baits out and then it drifts right back into them. That's about the best way to cheat the system if uh, you weren't the first person on the numbers like these guys were. So it is what it is. We're gonna do what we can do. And we are going to try and get on some fish. So you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get us some. Let's go. Let's go. Scott is on. See what he's got. Probably a red snapper. Yeah, little red snapper. Tiny guy. I think I figured them out. So they won't cut bait. If you throw, if you drop a whole bait down there, they're just gonna nip at it and take off what they want and leave you just ahead. So I've sliced up some cut bait, cigar minnow, unfortunately, and uh, that's what we're pulling up. That guy's about 17, 18 inches. Same as my first one. We're gonna see if we can't get on some more. We're gonna let this guy go. They're out of season. Grab by the eyes and... He's going straight down just like my GoPro did. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get on some more of those. All right, guys, as you can see, I caught one more snapper. Um, red snapper, that is. Unfortunately, they're not in season, so I had to let him go. Uh, that was my second red snapper for today. The first one was a little bit bigger than that one. The first one was about 18. He was about 16 and a half, 17 but a decent size snapper. So middle of the day, the bite slows down, way down. These boats out here are chumming up snapper and they're catching them left and right. Like I said, I don't like to catch too many fish that I can't keep or eat. So we're gonna see what happens on the way back in. We're gonna do a little bit more trolling and then we're gonna take it back to shore. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Woo, trolling. go and scott is on guys trolling in is he running towards you he's got a king mackerel is he in already Looks like a big Spanish. Yeah, a decent size Spanish. It's going to keep kicking. Scott just got him a nice size Spanish mackerel. We'll see if we can't hook up ourselves on either a king or a Spanish something. Just living it up. Let's go. All right, guys, we're getting closer to shore. Still trolling. See the beach ball out there. Still trolling. Um, our spot is just right here. Right there, yeah, right there. That's where we need to go in at. I'm not sure if Scott wants to keep trolling or not. Um, I started catching a cramp from the drag out here <laughs> oh man um but yeah 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and head in. Scott's behind me. He got rigged up after that Spanish eight. I think I'm about done. He might be as well. It's starting to get hot. It's a slow bite. And, uh, you know, we've done what we could do out here today. But I'll see you guys once we get back on land. It's been fun. It's been real. I'm glad that's over. All right, guys, we are on shore. We're on land. It has been a ride today, and I do mean a ride. Started out, we hit the water. Scott ended up leaving his pedal drive at the house. He brought a pedal drive system for his kayak, but it was the wrong pedal drive system. It was the one for his fiance. I had all this stuff recorded, but I lost my GoPro. Everything else worked out great. He, he ran home, grabbed his pedal drive, and then he came back and we started fishing. So everything worked out after that. Um, the only thing that sucked is that I had to use my cell phone in order to film the rest of the day. And the footage that I already had, I lost it to the Gulf of Mexico. So Gulf of Mexico one, zero for D. But I did end up catching two nice size snapper. One was 18, one was about 17, 17, 17 and a half but they aren't in season, so I had to release both of them. Uh, Scott caught him a nice Spanish mackerel, and I think he kept that guy. He also caught a smaller one, but it got off before he got it back to the kayak. Um, other than that, we're gonna do some shout outs and we're gonna go ahead and end this thing out. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say is huge respect to the guys who come out kayak fishing out here all the time, dragging these kayaks through this sand is more than just a task. It is a job, and then you have to go out fishing after that, and then you have to come back in. Hopefully it's calm enough to where you can land your kayak without getting flipped over and losing all your equipment, but then you have to do it all over again and carry your kayak back through the sand up to your vehicle and load it up. So those guys are some troopers. Huge shout out to them. Shout out to Donnie at the Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle this morning. He's a subscriber. I'm gonna look up some of my uh, recent subscribers and we're gonna do some shout outs and we're gonna end this thing. Let's go. All right, guys, Scott was kind enough to loan me his phone and take some notes so that I can do these shout outs. So we're gonna do these shout outs and then we're gonna end the video, guys. So first of all, shout out to Jason Salamanca. We appreciate you. Thanks for joining the team. Jacqueline Cheeseboro. I think I'm saying that right. Jacqueline Cheeseboro. Thanks for joining the team soaking up some of this vitamin D on the Gulf Coast. Ben Dials, thank you. We appreciate you for joining the team. Vitamin D TV. Travis does kayak fishing. Thanks, appreciate the support. We really, really appreciate the support. Moving closer to 1,000 subscribers. And last but not least, the Elevated Angler. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. So guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm always, always getting back to my subscribers. I'm always commenting back. And one thing I like that I'm doing, and you guys I think like it as well, is I'm shouting out those new subscribers. So guys, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button. And maybe I'll mention your name in the next video. But for now, we're gonna close this thing out. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Next weekend, we'll be in the Florida Keys fishing some deep blue water and we're gonna be on some massive fish. Trust me, like, subscribe, keep in contact. Vitamin D TV, I'm out.